Right, so, question one. So it's saying find A. So you have to sort of think, you have to spot that uh, this is an X and this is a Y. So this is the kind of question where you know what Y is and you need to find X. Usually it's the other way around. Usually you get X and you just substitute it into the formula. Now the way you do this one is you can just, you can just start by copying down the, question, the, the quadratic in the question and then simply replace all the values. So all the uh, A values come in here. So here I'm putting in the X. And they tell us that y is equal to 3. So I'm going to put the 3 over on this side. Now, in actual fact, what you have here, it's a quadratic. So now the question becomes, solve the quadratic equation. I'm just going to turn it around this way. And then you're into the classic solve the quadratic equation method. And once you solve it, you have the values of a that can give you that y value of 3. So I'm going to, as you always do with the quadratic, Right, we want to make it equal to 0, and then once we've made it equal to 0, we can factorise it. So now I've made the quadratic a squared plus 3 plus 2 equals 0. And remember, for when you're doing a quadratic, always see if you can factorise it first, because it's the easiest method you've got. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me 2, and add to give me 3. Well, that's easy, it's 2. 2 and 1. So that's it, factorised. And so then I can get these two solutions, minus 2 or minus 1. So those would be the values. So what that actually means is, if we go back to the original expression, y equals x squared plus 3x plus 5, it means if you take any of these a values and substitute it in here and in here, then it's going to give you the answer. Started with it should give you the answer three. So there's your solutions. A equals minus two or A equals minus one. It's really a solving quadratic equations type of problem.